Hello everybody, welcome back. I am Tinker77. Thanks for joining me today. Today we have a tutorial on an item elevator. In 1.11, they simplify the way uh, item elevators can work. It used to be very hard to do. We had to do lots of stuff with, work, with water streams, with uh, fence gates, and uh, just all sorts of things. But it's now it's very easy. So basically I'm going to show you this, what ha happens is we have this chest here and we're going to put in 16 cobblestone and you can see the items will go up inside of this tube and then they'll go up to the top and they'll end up in the chest so the items are being elevated up if you look in here we got our 16 that's pretty easy and what it is in essence in a nutshell here is you have your items going into a dropper which is facing upward in the center of a 3x3 three three grid of blocks and then we use our standard circuit which uh, is a redstone circuit that will make the dropper spit out a block every time and then it goes all the way up to the top and then I have you can use one hopper to catch it or maybe a water stream that's flowing I use nine just so that in case something comes pops out and goes to the slide a little bit it'll still catch and then it goes into your chest or whatever you have up at the top and this can go from clear down from bedrock clear up to the top as long as this 3x3 three three grid of block is um, all the way up and not broken with any like other um, like open air blocks and you can use other blocks besides glass you can even use iron or, or what have you and I'll demonstrate that in just a second so let's start the build and I'll show you what, how to do it to start this build, we're going to need a 3x4 area. What you're going to do is you're going to put a dropper facing upwards, and that will shoot up into the um, blocks we have, the 3x3 grid. Now we're going to do the standard circuit we do for this, which is you have a comparator coming out, a repeater which boosts that signal, okay? And then what you're going to do, two things. You're going to have it go around this way and into a block right here. Now this, you're going to change it out to be a repeater. So that way it doesn't hook into the comparator. So it's going to force it into the block. And that block powered will force the repeater, or I mean the uh, dropper, to drop an item. Now on the other side here, we put it back to the comparator, and this creates the clock mechanism. And that's the basic structure of it there. Now, I want to be able to get stuff into this, so I'll have two hoppers and a chest on top. Okay? So if I if I put an item in here, let's uh, let's put a stack here. You can see it'll start spitting out all the pieces, 16 of them. There you go, almost done. Let's see if we can grab those. Okay, so now how do we get it up there? Well, you can do. I'm going to do this real quick. From the there, you can make a grid of three by three. Okay, and you continue that all the way up until you're at the point where you want to. Uh, put the uh, where it receives the items that are up there. I'm going to do three here and just to show you I'm going to make the rest of this iron. You can make it whatever block type is you want as long as it's not uh, broken out with an air block. So sorry about this takes a few seconds here. That's pretty good. Um, I'm going to put a block out here just so I can put a chest down on it and then we'll put the hoppers these are the hoppers that will catch the um, the items that are being pushed up in the ele elevator okay so this chest nothing in it and we have down here we have this chest that we're going to feed into it we're going to put 32 items and as you can see they're going up and they continue on up and they will be caught if you look up here you can see they're popping out, and then the hoppers are catching it and throwing it into the chest. Let's let that finish. Make sure we get all 32. And there's our 32 items. So it works perfectly well. It's very easy to do. It's a very simple item elevator. There you have it. The item elevator tutorial all done and complete. I want to thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you would like to leave a comment, please leave it in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of any videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Also, if you know anybody who would benefit from viewing these uh, videos, please forward this on to them, and hopefully they will like it as well. Again, thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.